Well, hello everybody. Welcome to the last of my uh, videos uh, of my tour of um, the Garrow Peninsula in Wales. I hope you've had a chance to have a look at the previous three. Uh, and as I walk towards this ancient monument, which was built thousands of years ago, I'm amazed at the range of landscapes and sites that are available in this part of Wales. This particular burial site was built thousands of years ago and was only discovered in 1869 when they were looking for road stone. And when they excavated it, they found 40, the, bo the bones of 40 people in the chambers, of which there are four, uh, leading off a main passageway. They think that the corpses of the deceased were put into local caves and then the bones were then interned into the tomb. There are quite a few caves along this valleyway which originally was a medieval deer park. I'm going to try and find one after I visited this site. So. I hope you enjoy the rest of this video and uh, that you will consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Well, I did say I was going to uh, try and find a cave, and here I am. It's quite a climb up this hillside, and um, there's been quite a bit of recent rain, so uh, it's quite slippery and wet. Um, so instead of being able to enjoy the, the trees and the shrubbery, etc., I'm having to concentrate on my footing. But I hope it's going to be worthwhile that I'm going to find a cave up here. Well, I've arrived at the top, but guess what? No cave. I must have missed it on the way up. The remains of small limestone kilns can be found right across the limestone geology of the Gower, and this is a particularly uh, good example.
Well, my question is, how did it get here? And one theory is that um, King Arthur, that's why it's called Arthur's Rock, um, had a stone in his shoe while he was passing by on his way to a battle somewhere. And um, he kind of stopped and he removed the stone and he threw it as far as he could. It must have been quite irritated and painful for him. And because he picked the stone up and you know King Arthur's got magical powers, um, the stone landed where it is right now, but as it traveled through the air, it got bigger. Okay, it probably got here because of glaciation. And um, so it's a nice myth though, isn't it? Don't you think? And, um, but we do know that uh, it was it's about 4,000 years old and it was dug out underneath and turned into a burial chamber around the, around the Neolithic times and other stones were inserted to provide support and um, the other interesting from, thing for me was that I, as I walked down to the stone from visiting the cows I got my dowsing rods out and I found a ley line going through the stone and out the other side and I will show you the marker stone So finally, I'll show you some coastline to end off this video. So I'm walking towards Ox Oxwich Castle, which is occupies a position on the wooded headland overlooking Oxwich Bay. You can't see it, and neither can I. Uh, the castle is a castle in name only, really, as it was a grand Tudor fortified manor house. It was originally built in 1559 and built over an original ruined castle dating back to the 13th and 14th century. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and will agree with me that different landscapes that can be explored and visited and seen in the Gower Peninsula are quite stunning and extraordinary. See you next time.